Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back in War Tycoon, and today I'm gonna be going over my personal loadout, which in my opinion is by far the best loadout you could be using right now in War Tycoon. And for some of you older viewers, you might have noticed that probably like a year ago I made a similar video, but that one is way outdated. I've gotten a lot better, they've updated the guns a lot, they've even changed the name of the game. Keep in mind, my loadout is not attainable for everyone because some stuff costs robux, but don't worry because I'll give you equivalents. And yeah, I keep the M17 in this loadout, I mean it doesn't really matter, I mean it just sort of takes up space. But now on to the first real guns. Starting with the KSG-12, it has nearly twice the ammunition of any other shotgun in this game. It is absolutely crazy. As well as the accuracy, this is by this is the most accurate shotgun in this game. A lot more accurate than the Spaz 12. And I haven't even mentioned the sights. The KSG 12 has a really solid red dot sight. Whereas the Spaz 12, ever since they gave it a remodel, yeah, your screen is completely blocked and the accuracy as well. I was aiming here and shells ended up over here. You, you do not want to be using this gun. But now for the Foul Heavy, this is my second gun of choice. I mean, it just by far has the most damage out of any assault rifle in the game. Although if you don't have it unlocked, don't worry because you're fine as long as you have the MCX Spear. This gun I pretty much use interchangeably because they're both by far, like nothing even stands close to these two rifles. They're amazing. Now on to probably the most surprising thing and that is that I have two snipers in my loadout. A close range sniper with iron sights for hitting people at like only a couple hundred studs and the Barrett for I don't know anything past that they're both really amazing guns if you don't have the Barrett unlocked because you're not balling like me I'd recommend using the M40 because it's very very similar just a little bit less damage the Remington and MSR is also a solid choice although the developers keep changing it so I generally stick with the M40 if you can't afford the Barrett but that's pretty much it for all of my guns. Now I just have two impact grenades because, well, they're by far the best grenades. As well as I have two med kits for healing purposes. You know, you gotta have that. And the recently added airstrike because, yeah, the airstrike is probably the most overpowered piece of kit there that is available in this game. But anyways, that's enough with just talking. I actually want to prove to you how good this loadout is by using it. It, that didn't that didn't take very long we already got this guy over here I mean this is sort of the perfect range for using the car 98 because like you can just easily hit those one taps and because it does over 200 damage even the 2x armor ain't stopping you yeah you see how easy that was to take down two players the car 98 is definitely an underrated sniper that is if you have it unlocked now it's time for probably my favorite piece of kit in my loadout and that is the airstrike so this is pretty much the perfect time to use an airstrike because you can just take out people's generators on the top floor instantly it, they won't have any they can't do anything about it except for turning on their shields just look and they're already all destroyed Bro, is this an AFK dude? Well, I guess we could use this as a showcase for the KSG. It one-shots. I don't know what else there is to say about the KSG, though. It's just a one-shot machine. That's about it. Oh. Oh, that's it, dude. I'm gonna see if I can go after him. Oh, maybe he'll just come to me. What is he? Does he have a plan bro what what the i swear this game has already implemented ai because there's no way real people play like this like he just drove around in circles until he got shot and killed same as this dude like you can't push me when i have a foul this gun literally two shots in the head this dude already rage quit oh Yeah, this gun is, the foul heavy is absolutely crazy. I cannot explain how unbelievably easy it is for you to get just infinite kills. There's no, there's no limit. Like, I don't think I've been shot once. What is this guy doing? Another great opportunity to show off the, this, 
the, the, the stuff of the airstrike radio. So we just called an airstrike on him. I don't think he's got time to move. Oh, never mind. He's good. That, that was a slight mishap on my part. That's one of the bad parts of the airstrike is that it takes so long to call in. Oh, I see somebody. I'm, I want to see if I can test out the impact grenade because I still haven't had a chance. Oh, you see what I'm talking about with the impact grenade being crazy? Like, there's just no time to react for the other player. You're just there and then they're just dead. I don't understand why people use other grenades. Oh, three people all in one place? Come on, come on. That, that can be such a... That'll get all three of them. Oh, another showcase of the KSG clutching it up. Okay, we're going 12 and 2. And think about it. I reset once and I got killed once. That's a 12 KDR. And I'm not even trying, like, basically whatsoever. This is going to be my last life before I end today's video because I feel bad enough for these players. They have, I think I've made, like, two people rage quit, which in the amount of time I've been playing, probably, like, 10 minutes, that is... That's pretty crazy to make people rage quit that fast. Another perfect range for the car 98, and he just gets put down. Honestly, this is probably the most satisfying gun. It probably isn't the most overpowered. Generally, in most cases, the explosive sniper would be better, but still, the car 98 is so satisfying because it's not like you're cheating at all because the explosive sniper is sort of cheating because this gun does barely any damage if you're hitting anything other than the head. Another guy downed. Honestly, I mean, you're practically unstoppable as long as you have the ability to aim for someone's head. Like, you don't even have to be able to flick or anything. Just as long as you can aim generally for someone's head, you're pretty good. I said this is my last life, but I mean, I think I should just end it here. I've shown you everything. I'm bullying these kids too much. So anyways, that's it for today's video. So make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.